Today we're going to be jumping into the topic of using OKRs in Notion and specifically how solopreneurs and small teams can use them. In this video I'll run through exactly how I'm using OKRs in Notion and if you like it then stick around to the end because I'll show you exactly how you can download a free template for it. As you probably already know OKRs are a highly effective goal setting framework that are used by big companies such as Google but they're not just for large corporations. In more recent years, small businesses and solopreneurs have started using them because they're very simple to implement and they really can help you reach your targets. So here we are in Notion. And the first thing to mention is setting the time frame, uh, which we have here. And a lot of people set their time frame for quarters. So we can see we've got quarter four set up here, but you can easily change that to monthly, which is actually something I like doing. So looking at how this is set out, first of all, we've got our objective, which is an objective is really setting the direction for where you want your business to be going. And in this case, we have enhanced personal brand. And then there's a space for the key results. And these, I like to see these as the steps for how you're going to achieve your objective. And the important thing is that they're measurable. So in this case, we've got three key results here. If you want to add more, then it's just a simple case of clicking on the new button and you can have um, additional key results added. Now there are three columns here, which allow you to track your progress. First of all, the target. So our first key result is publish eight case, case studies. So we need to put a number in here. So the target will be eight. Initial is where your starting point is. So you're going to be starting on zero. So you don't need to fill that one in. And then current is where you're up to. So say um, you're looking at this um, a month in and you've written three case studies. You could put three in there. And then it automatically updates in this progress bar here and it says that you're 38% towards your target. So doing the same for uh, our second key result, which is booking two speaking engagements. Um, we put two in, in here. Again, we don't need to put an initial figure in. And then let's say you've actually booked two, you'll see that our progress goes to 100%. Now our third key result is slightly different because it's increasing our LinkedIn connections by 30%. And where, where we need to get to is 650 connections. So let's just write that in. But we're actually starting already at 500. And now where we want to, to write in current, let's say um, we started and after maybe a couple of months into the quarter, we was able to get it up to uh, 575. And there we can see that we're halfway to meeting our target. Now this progress tracking is quite useful if you're doing weekly reviews, so you can see actually how you're progressing towards your goals. The final column on here is a person. So if you're in a small team, you can allocate the work to a specific person. Most people like to have multiple OKRs for each time period, three to five being a good number. So if you want to create a new one, just come to this button, add new OKR, click on that, and then you'll have a, a new database open. And all you have to do is edit the objective name and then there's a space here to add all your key results. I've made this as simple as possible so that you can keep all of your OKRs on one page and you don't have to worry about having multiple databases that then need to be linked together. It's really a simple system. I hope you found that video on using OKRs in Notion useful. If you'd like a copy of this Notion template, then click on the link in the description. And once you have it up, click on the duplicate button, and then that will save a copy of the template to your Notion account. 
If you're interested in learning more about using Notion for productivity, then why not check out this video, which is all about how I've implemented David Allen's getting things done methodology in Notion.